John here back with another review and today we're going to talk about review victory or also known as escape to victory 1981 film directed by John Huston and this one here the plot you have Max von Sydow in the film he's the head of a German POW camp and he puts together an event where you have the Nazi players go up against the allied captives in a game of soccer slash football and meanwhile the captives they use the game as means of escape from the camp and that's the plot here to the film now again this is directed by John Huston who has quite a bit of acting credits I was going through his IMDb uh, he acted in Chinatown and the African Queen but he's also directed some movies a year later he would direct Annie yeah, the Little Orphan Annie movie. He also directed Prizzy's Honor, which I have never seen. I do have the film in my collection somewhere, but yeah, I've never seen the film. And the cast here, you have Michael Caine, who's a great actor, and he does a solid job here. You know, as the lead character, he does a solid job. And he's a great talent. I mean, even in something like Jaws 4, which is trash, you know, he's not the problem. Uh, so here, you know, Michael Caine does a solid job. Uh, Stallone in the film, you know, he's fine. I mean, he's like, you know, one of the trainers of the team. And the thing is, you know, by this point, you know, Stallone has proven he can act. That's not the problem here. But, you know, for me, I look back, you know, at his character and while Sly does, you know, he does okay. But I think, like, anybody could have played this part. I mean, it's kind of like an interchangeable uh, performance here. Again, Stallone's not bad, but it's nothing, you know, nothing to write home about. And you also have, you know, Max von Sydow in the film. You know, a great actor. And funny enough... It's funny when I went, you know, when I was watching this, I'm like, you know, Stallone started in a remake of Get Carter, which starred Michael Caine. And then later on, you know, before that remake, you know, Stallone acted with Max von Sydow and Judge Dredd. So, you know, that was interesting. But Max von Sydow's in the film, you know, from The Exorcist and, you know, a bunch of other movies. You know, unfortunately, he's passed away. You have Pelé in the film, uh, you know, famous uh, soccer slash football player, you know, which, you know, overseas, you know, soccer is different. I mean, it's pretty much football. But you also have another professional in the cast, you know, Bobby Moore. Uh, other than those names, I mean, there's not a lot of people that you recognize here, but again Michael Caine does a solid job you know Stallone again he's not Stallone's not bad in the film but for me I just kind of look at this character anyone could have played this character as kind of like an interchangeable uh, type of role here you know like again Stallone's fine but I could have seen anybody play this part uh, but that's just me the music here is by Bill Conti who did the score you know, for the first two Rocky films. And uh, that was Mickey. Now I'm playing. But, yeah, Bill Conti, of course, you know, who, you know, provided the scores for, you know, the early Rocky movies. And, you know, it's a fine score. It's nothing memorable here. Uh, I was trying to look at... I did write some stuff down to mention. I think... You know, some of the banter between the teammates, you know, is good. Uh, I guess, like, you know, that's kind of going over, like, going over some of the positives here. Again, the banter between the teammates, you know, that's good stuff. You know, Michael Caine being the lead character, again, he does a solid job. The ending of the film, uh, the, you know, last five minutes of the film, you know, it's satisfying. The film has a satisfying ending. But for me, with this film, there's a lot of stuff in between that, you know, for me, just didn't, you know, didn't really interest me or I wasn't really engaged 
with a lot of the stuff that was sort of in the middle here with this movie. For example, you know, a lot of the... And I know it's sort of based on true events. I say sort of, but I think it is based on a true story. On this, uh, you know, big game or whatever that happened in Kiev uh, during this time period. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying, you know, for me with this film, some of the drawbacks, you know, for me, the politics or the, the whole backdrop of you know, the time period, you know, I can watch war movies, you know, I can watch movies that, you know, take place in this era, but I think, like for me, you know, the politics and the motif of the film didn't really interest me as much, you know, the pacing of the film, I think it dragged way on, like, there's a lot of dead spots for me in this film, and... It's a two-hour film. You can definitely feel that two hours here. You know, the pacing it really dragged on. And, I mean, I think for me, that's the biggest thing with this movie. I think the pacing, really, you really felt the pacing here with this movie. A lot of the, the, the motifs of, you know, the politics within the story here. It's like, you know, when it's not focused on the teammates and what they're doing, uh, it didn't really interest me. And I think that's where the film lost me. I mean, you know, it started to pick up, you know, as we're getting towards, you know, the second half of the film where you have the big game and, you know, at the same time during the game in the second half, you know, they're trying to escape and they're like, no, we got to go back and finish this game. And then again, you have the ending where, you know, the crowd, they go into the, the stadium or, you know, they go onto the field and, you know, they get the captives out. Again, I like the ending of the film. The last five minutes is satisfying, but, you know, for me, there's just a lot of really nothing that happens here in this film. And, you know, I don't put blame on the actors or what have you, but there's nothing really exciting here for me with victory it's kind of like don't hate don't love it's just kind of like right there in the middle and that's kind of you know yeah i mean some a couple of good notes but you know for me it's outweighed by a lot of either slow pacing or uninteresting uh backdrop or you know kind of Again, the politics of, you know, the story and and stuff like that. And again, I mean, I can watch stuff like that take place during World War II or I just don't know if this was the most or the direction here was the most engaging. But that's just me. Now it is time to get to my overall thoughts on victory. Michael Caine gives a solid performance. Sylvester Stallone, by this point, has proven he can act, but his character comes off one note for me. There's some decent direction by John Huston, perhaps, and the ending is satisfying, but not much excitement in terms of execution. The tagline here is, their goal was freedom. I say the film's goal should have been a tighter runtime. And out of five stars, I'm going to give victory two and a half out of five stars. But that's it for my review of Victory. Thank you for watching and have a good day.